What's going on? David here, and we are going to be taking a look at the Wave 3 Massive Biters from the Jurassic World Primal Attack line by Mattel. And this is the, the last wave of the Massive Biters uh, section from the Primal Attack line. And um, we have two species that we've already gotten before. Uh, one is a retooled, and the other is a straight-up repaint. Now, um, I felt that they could have replaced the Sarko with something else with a different species, or they could have had another uh, large or mid-sized dinosaur and have it retooled from a, a previous one that we've gotten before in, in previous waves or lines. And um, it would have made more sense because I think that having a second Sarko in the, in the same line is, uh, uh, I wouldn't say overkill, but too early, you know, because... Uh, they could have saved the Sarko for a retooled uh, feature in a later line, you know. But, hey, that's just my opinion. Who am I to judge, you know? It is what it is. But, uh, anyways, so let's go ahead and take these dinosaurs out of its packaging, or one of them out of its packaging, and uh, we'll compare the others to the newer ones, and then we'll just wrap this video up. All right, so we have the Alberto in the uh, Sarko in all its glory. Um, not too fond of this paint scheme. While it is different, and um, it just it's not, I, I, I like paint schemes that are more uh, natural. But hey, if we're getting a different, uh, uh, the same, if we're getting the same figure, you know, they're going to have to repaint it and do a different format. But um, this is kind of a kind of an odd one, <laughs> you know, in my opinion. Um, and as far as the Sarko goes, um, this reminds me of the Chaos Effect uh, line that we received by Kenner in the late 90s. And um, just by the color scheme of it, very outlandish, brightly colored, you know, and, and it grabs your attention. And the more I look at it, the more I appreciate it because the simple fact when I saw the uh, photo images of its... Uh, a prototype, I, I wasn't too keen on it, you know, I didn't really like it, you know, and I was originally going to pass on it, but once I saw it in hand and looked at it, I was like, you know what, I gotta have another prehistoric crocodile or alligator in my collection. <laughs> Can't have too many of those, right? So, alright, let's go ahead and remove Sarko. We'll save him for last, and we'll take a look at the Alberto. Now, for those who don't know, um, the Albertosaurus was originally found in Alberta, Canada, hence the Albertosaurus. But um, <laughs> I just thought I'd just throw that out there. But anyways, um, I do love the sculpt on this. Not too fond of the paint scheme, but I love the sculpt on it because one of the better sculpts that they uh, done uh, that Mattel has done. I mean, just like look at this incredible detail that they have. You no, know, just the head sculpt alone. It's just an amazing uh, piece, you know. And uh, just the detail, the the horns, the um, osteoderms on the sides, you know, the muscle structure of the neck, you know, got the little flap right there, the little flap, you know, the overskin, and then, you know, just the, the ribs, the legs, the hind legs, especially, very muscle structure, scratcher, <laughs> with the scratcher, um, the tail's way too short by, by its standards, but... Um, hey, I, like I said, I don't make decisions when it comes to these things. I would have liked to have a longer tail, but that's just, that's just too small, you know. But, um, then you got the muscular arms. They're a little bit longer than the T-Rex arms, just a little bit. And, um, <clears throat> as you can tell, as far as the paint scheme, this was made out of green molded plastic. And they just had to, uh, put the, uh, orange, uh, crush, uh, scheme on it, you know. And then here we got the the cream colored uh, under jaw and on the neck, the little spray paint right there on the neck. And all three versions of these, um, they're pretty much the same paint scheme as far as you know uh, the paint, the amount. I think this one has the most paint on it because it's got it all over here and all the way down there, and it's all the way down to its hind legs. But then again, I think the original one might have it beat because 
think on the original, which we'll compare here in a minute, you know, the has the paint scheme from the top of the jaw all the way down to here. So it's just one solid piece. But then again, if you break these up, you cut it in half, it's uh, probably about the, if you put them together, you know, things might be the same. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, it's just, they don't have a whole lot of paint on them. All three of them don't, you know. And, um, I do like the striping color, though. And I like how it's broken up a little bit on each side. So I think that's really cool right there. And, um, yeah, but overall, like I said, the, the, uh, the molding of it, you know, and especially the head sculpt is by far the, probably the best thing, you know. I think it's got it down pat, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just a beautiful uh, mold that they've used, that they're able to reuse, you know. So, as long as they make these, I'll probably keep on collecting them, you know. But anyways, as far as articulation goes, you get the... Uh, and the arms are on a hinge end on the swivel, you know, so they go up and down, you know, in and out. And then as far as the leg goes, um, it is tied to the feature, action feature. So you're only going to get, they're both, they're going to move at the same time. You probably could move individually, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, so you can just go up and down, you know, for front and back. And then here, you know, you have the uh, the swivel at the uh, at the ankles, you know. And then you got the the toe claws that are painted, but you don't have the uh, the, the the fingers, the, the hands that are not painted. And so as far as the sculpt goes, the eyes look great on both sides, and then the tongue looks wet. It's got that wet tongue look, and the teeth are individually painted too as well. So. So yeah, overall, you know, I love this figure. You know, even though it's paint scheme, like I mentioned before, it's not my favorite. So, <clears throat> as far as the action feature goes, um, you have this button right there. So it's hidden pretty well. And then uh, you have the swivel here at the, at the tail. So you pretty much, you know, you just press the button down and it's got that that chomping jaw feature but here on the tail you can just hold it down and you just move it back and forth like a puppet you know so it's very cool so, so you can easily so, very simple you know so like I said it's like it's like puppeteering so, let's go ahead and bring out the other Albertosauruses that we have in the collection. And <clears throat> here is the original. There is the version 2 battle damage. And like I said, this one is uh, my favorite one because it's got more of a natural color to it. And this is my second, and this is my least favorite. And um, like I, like I mentioned before, it doesn't have a whole lot of paint to it. This is, probably has the least amount of paint to it, and this one has the most, and this might have the the second most. And uh, but they're all beautifully sculpted because they're all sculpted in the same mold, you know, in the same mold, but just different color plastic. And um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and move this guy out. And as far as comparisons go, you could tell this is a mirror image because, for one, the stands are different. You know, they just reversed it. And two, you could tell that the battle damage is right there. And then here on the uh, the Massive Biters version, there is no uh, battle damage to it. So that's probably why they had the hind legs this way so it can have room for the battle damage. And so when they removed it and they were able to uh, reverse the, the stance because if they had it like that the battle damage would probably get in the way that's just my thinking of it could be wrong you know but at least it's something a little bit different you know and and that's always good <clears throat> and um as far as the 
the thickness goes this one's a little bit fatter than this one as you can tell it just had to make room right there for the battle damage so it's just a little chubbier than this one so but overall just i just love this uh species that mattel has done for it you know one of my favorite ones you know it's just great to see all three of them together you know so awesome all right let's go ahead and bring out a couple of human figures so we have the five inch kenner uh, Ellie Sadler, and also we have the three and three quarters uh, Mattel Legacy Collection Ellie Sadler. So they both uh, play compatibility with the this particular line. All right, next up is we got the Sarcosuchus, and like I said, uh, this is pretty much the straight repaint. There's nothing different about it except for the the, the paint, and um, like I said, it it pops out. And it reminds me of the Chaos Effect, you know, that came out in, by Kenner in, out in the late 90s. And, um, uh, like I mentioned before, I uh, felt like it was uh, too soon for it to be released again, especially in the same uh, line. But anyways, um, this one, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just molded in this uh, light uh, gray plastic. And it's just uh, the... the this exactly looks like exactly like a, uh, a prehistoric um, <clears throat> alligator. You know, it's just the scaling of it, the texturing of it. You know, it's just it's incredible. It's amazing, and um, I just love the details. You know, the underbelly and everything. And it's just a it's a great figure overall. You know, the colors just really pop, you know. You got this purple color that from the snout all the way down to the tail, which is very uh, rare that you would see that, you know. And then you got this red velvet color that's all the way down to here, and then it's mixed in with the, the little bit of orange. So, this is the osteoderms and the scales, like I mentioned. You know, it's just incredible detailing. The jaws everything the mouth the teeth are individually painted you know you got that wetness you know that's inside the jaw the wet tongue so great stuff and then the eyes are painted well yes sir but then, like with the Alberta source, it's the same thing. You got the button right there, very well hidden. And then, you just press the button down. And then you just move it from the tail side to side, and you get that head swiveling back and forth. So. So, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out the original uh, Sarko. And like I said, they're both the same thing. Nothing's changed except for the paint scheme. Like I said, I, I, I like the original better because it's more of a natural color, you know. But this is cool to have, you know. This is cool. If you wasn't able to find the first one, this would have been your second option, you know. <clears throat> But other than that, you know, same thing, same gimmick, you know, just different paint. That's all. And here we have it compared to the 5-inch Kenner Ellie Sadler, as well as the 3 and 3 quarters Mattel's Legacy Collection Ellie Sadler. Look good together, you know. They, they can be both uh, play compatibility. And here we have the complete Massive Biters line from the Primal Attack line. And, uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of hits right here, you know. Uh, like I said, the Wave 3 could have been a little bit better, but it is what it is. Uh, really love the Seats, 
you know, the, probably the Seats is my favorite out of the whole Mass Spiders uh, selection, and um, followed by the original Sarko, and then uh, the Tarbo, the Alberto, and then the uh, repaint of the Sarko. That's how I'm going to categorize. That's how I organize it. You know, my least of my favorite to the most. Ugh. <laughs> my most favorite to the least favorite. So can't even talk today. But anyways. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this review, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did, and um, what is your favorite out of this whole uh, Massive Biters line? Do you like the Alberto, the Sarko number two, the Seat Sarko number one, or the Tarbo, you know, and also out of the three um, Albertosauruses that I had out. Which ones do you do you like? Did you like the uh, the light blue one, the original, or the um, the massive biters one, the green one? Anyways, words of wisdom: buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.